This is a tutorial on how to connect MerchEyes to Shopify API via a custom app and use the access token for authenticating with the Shopify admin API. In case you cannot connect via MerchEyes Shopify connector. In case you cannot connect via MerchEyes Shopify connector. First, you need to create a Shopify account and a MerchEyes store, then follow these setup guides. Enable custom app development from the Shopify admin. Before you can create a custom app for your store, you need to enable custom app development. From your Shopify admin, click Settings Apps and Sales Channels, click Develop Apps. Click Allow Custom App Development, read the warning and information provided, and then click Allow Custom App Development. Create a custom app. Click Create a custom app. From the Settings page of Shopify admin in the Apps and Sales Channels tab. In the modal window, fill in the following details. Enter the app name and select an app developer. Then click Create App. You can assign API scopes to it. Click Select Scopes. In the Admin API Access Scopes section, select the API scopes that you want to assign to the app. Merchise Shopify Connector needs following access options. Select Scopes and Permissions as following. Don't forget to save. Click Install the app to get access token. From the Apps API Credentials page. In the Admin API Access Token section, click Reveal Token once to copy the API Access Token. Add the API Access Token to your MerchEyes account and set up the MerchEyes X Shopify integration. From your MerchEyes Admin Dashboard, navigate to Integration Shopify. In the Shop Name field, enter the Your Shopify Store name. In the Token field, then paste Access Token that copied from your Shopify Store. Click Connect button. The active status shows the app being successfully connected to your MerchEyes account. If you need help creating custom apps for your store, please contact us for assistance. Integrating your Shopify store and MerchEyes lets you synchronize products and orders instantly between both platforms. It lets you manage your store with ease and productivity, even though you are selling on many Shopify stores. There are two main ways to create product listings. First, list product individually. If you want to create MerchEyes product from scratch, there are a few steps that you need to follow. In the product section click Create Campaign. The Create Campaign feature can be used to Create product mockups Create one or multi types of product at the same time For full instruction to use mockup generator on MerchEyes, please refer to the guide Use mockup generator to create campaign in the description below of this video Now, you can select product from catalog then click design You can see on the left there is product list panel. Display the products you choose to add to the campaign. Choose available colors and set the price. Then, you can upload an existing artwork that ensure your artwork is correctly followed our print templates guideline and with acceptable DPI. Depend on each product, you can upload separate design into each piece of the product. For this shirt, you can add design to front, back, both sleeve. When uploaded design, you can easily resize, reposition, rotate, and pay attention to keep it within the print area. After designing, you can generate and view the mockups by clicking Preview button. Then add title to the campaign with description and other pertinent information. For products with multiple color selections, the preview shows the corresponding color selected example, front, back, etc. You can add collections and add tags to the campaign. 
Once the design process is completed, click Publish to create campaign. Clicking on the View All Product button will directly take you to the Product Manager. Now go to the product you want to sync to Shopify Store. You can also change description, increase or decrease the prices by a percentage or a fixed amount once at a time. Remember, this feature is now only viable to all variants of one product or multiple specific products. At Connected Platforms section in the right panel, you will see your stores displayed. Select the store that you wish to list by clicking the Publish button to the right. The product is ready to sell and is available to customers on the online store. Besides syncing and listing single product, you can also list products in bulk. You can push listings in bulk by selecting multiple products at once and clicking the list products on channels button in the drop down action menu. Then, in the pop up window, you will select integrated channel and stores you wish these products listed. Now simply click publish, and your bulk listing will go live on Shopify storefront. Your listing is in a temporary processing state. The processing times may vary depends on the number of listings you have chosen to publish at once. In the Product Manager, you will notice the store logo icons under the Connected Platforms column. Here, you can view all stores and sale channels associated with sync products you listed. Each icon with color variation will present you with status of listing. Primary logo indicate the products are completely synced and published on Shopify. Yellow logo, your products will change to edit, which means the data has been changed, but it hasn't been pushed synced to your sales channel. Gray logo, your listing is not yet synced or in a temporary processing state. Red logo, display errors in processing. These errors may be returned by each channel according to their listing rules. Edit and update your listings. Choose product and go to the product detail page you can. Update your listing information. Product title, images, description, price, manually. After you've made changes to your listing, then click Save on the top or bottom right corner of the page. The store logo icons will turn yellow, which means the data has been changed. Select the store that you wish to resync by clicking the Update button. Note that you will need to perform all product updates in Merchise and publish those changes to Shopify. View all synced product listings. In the product section, click View synced products under More Action button. The product listing overview page shows additional information on your product listings, including the listing activity log, active status, and processing status on an individual listing. The workspace controls allow you to use filters to find data that shows for your listings. You can filter on one or multiple fields in the following areas. 